Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be out here in the pig pen area. So we just got done raising two feeder pigs and we took those to the butcher and we have not got the meat back yet. So we still have, don't have that back yet, but we've got the, you know, the remnants of the pig pen back here. And this is not where I plan on raising pigs next time. I think we'll set up a new area next time. It'll be probably over by the livestock barn. There's some, some tall trees to one side of the livestock barn. It's a really shaded area and I think that'll be a good place to be able to put the pigs next time. So I just wanna go ahead and just kinda of clean this area up and put it back to normal. But the pigs have actually already cleared a lot of this out for us. Where all these trees are right here was full of blackberries, thorn, thorn bushes and just brush. And they have cleaned that completely out. So now we can walk through there pretty easily. And so the pigs have done a lot of the work for me on at least clearing out the brush. So some of these trees I'm gonna go ahead and cut down. I'll probably leave a few of them for possible shade in the future for livestock. But most of this I'll probably clear out with a chainsaw today. Uh, we'll have to get the fence and everything all picked up and get that all stored away, all the, the water and feeders and all that stuff put away. But the, one of the other issues is they that they kind of really where they tore the area up is by making a wallow. So there's a nice big hole in the ground, probably a foot and a half deep where they let that fill with water and mud and that's where they would always wallow in the mud to cool down because pigs can't cool down and the, they don't sweat. So I need to see if I can fill that wallow up today also. So I'll probably try to get a tractor and see if I can push some of this dirt around and, and hopefully kind of fill that wallow in and just kind of get this all flat again. And I think it'll it'll be a nice area when we're done. Um, hopefully we'll just get it all flattened out and have a few trees left and uh, it'll look pretty good. Then we can replant this later with some pasture grass because eventually this will be within a pasture area when we're finished. So I uh, don't got too much time today, so I need to kind of get going and get started. Uh, one of our sons ended up turning 21 the other day and we always get together for birthdays and, and go get together as a family and eat out. So we're gonna all meet up tonight and have some supper uh, to celebrate his 21st birthday. So I've only got about three or four hours to get this done, so let's get started.
Well, so far I think everything's looking pretty good. We got all the fencing and everything picked up and we've been cutting these trees down back here, clearing this area out. And I'm not really sure what the right amount, of, I just want to leave enough for some shade so the animals can get a little bit of shade, but I want enough spacing in there that I can keep it free from growing full of brush again. So I think the amount of trees we have right now is what we'll leave it at. I can always cut down more later. And uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and move this fuel tank out of the way, uh, set that off somewhere else because uh, this I've kept this for a future project and hopefully one day we'll fix this up and be able to use this for fuel here on the property and Cutting down all them trees man. We got a nice big pile That we need to haul off to the brush pile, but all of this ended up being Sassafras and sassafras I know is a really good like if you go backpacking or camping sassafras is really good at um, Starting a fire, you know, like if you got some dry sassafras, it's got some natural fire starter in it So I'm not really sure and most of these are probably, I don't know, two to three inch limbs down here at the base. Now I could probably cut some of those up and use those for a little bit of firewood or maybe to, for kindling. But I don't know if that'll burn too hot for a fireplace or not. So uh, let me know if you think sassafras is a bad idea to burn in a fireplace. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it up and cut it so I can cut it into firewood. If I don't use it inside, I can use it in the fire pit outside. So we're going to go ahead and start getting this brush cut up. So I ended up running out of time yesterday, did not get the dirt work portion of this done. So that's what we're going to do today. 
we're going to try to see if we can kind of level this out and get the, the pig wallow, see if we can get that filled in with dirt. So, so right in here where the, this is where the fuel tank was, and you can see some blackberry bushes right in there. There's actually kind of a natural hump right there. It's a little high spot right there. So I'm hoping I can take that and push it over and maybe get some dirt from there to, to fill in the pig wallow. Um, I'm not sure, my tractor is not four-wheel four -wheel drive, so it doesn't push dirt very well. So I'm thinking about trying to break this soil up a little bit before I try to push it with the tractor. So um, I know some people have asked me about my blade and why don't you use your box blade and rippers. My, my blade is not a box blade technically, it's just a regular pull blade. It does have these little ends that you put on the end and it kind of help box it in, but it doesn't have any rippers on it where it can dig down and just kind of break up the earth. So I'm thinking about using a a cultivator. I've got a little bitty three-point cultivator that's got like six tines on it and I'm thinking about maybe taking that through there and see if I can kind of bust that dirt up just a little bit and then push the dirt with the bucket of the tractor and fill in the wallow. So let me grab a tractor and see if this will work. Well, I gotta be honest with you, that went better than I thought it would. So that three-point cultivator, that thing did exactly what I wanted it to do. It was able to basically rip through the roots and the blackberries and loosen up all that soil. And it got it loose enough that my two-wheel drive tractor was able to push it over there, fill in the pig wallow, and um, it worked out better than I thought. I mean, it went pretty good. So um, that three-point cultivator, that's been one of those purchases that you just kind of regret, just never really worked out. I thought maybe that I would use that more. I tried to use it in the garden, it just didn't work very well. And it has probably sat around for like two years now without being used. So at least I was able, at least I was able to use it today and um, be able to loosen up all this dirt with it. Now this, that cultivator is probably gonna go on sale. I'm probably just gonna post that on Facebook and try to get rid of it. It just, it's just one of those implements that I never use. I just don't need it. But I'm pretty happy with the way this all turned out. This is all fairly level. The holes filled in. It's not perfect. I mean, it's just not perfect. I mean, it's still uneven. I'll probably come back in the spring. I'll probably try to plant this in grass and get it all kind of greened up a little bit. But this is hopefully going to be a pasture area here. So um, this group of trees here and that group, that tree right there, hopefully this will provide shade at this end of the pasture. Now all the way down there at that end, there's a couple maple trees down there. Um, they will provide shade at that end of the pasture. And then if I want to divide this into two paddocks, I can. There'll be shade at each end. So I think this will work out pretty good. Um, cleared out enough trees where it's not hopefully going to get overgrown. I can hopefully mow between those bunches of trees if I need to. Once I get animals in here, they'll help clear it out. So a little bit ago, I kind of got to thinking, I'm like, you know, what was going through your guys' mind when I was in all those trees and I was in the pig pen and I'm kneeling down on my knees cutting those trees up? And I'm thinking, I bet that everybody's thinking, i probably kneeling down in a bunch of pig poop. Is that what you guys are thinking? Because I just want to clarify that wasn't the case because pigs only poop in like one spot. They kind of pick a spot and they that's like their toilet. So back here behind this maple tree, there's a bunch of green grass back there. That is where the pigs did number two. So there was no nothing to worry about kneeling down in over by those trees. So just like most of my projects, this took longer than I thought it would. 
and uh, with the shortening daylight hours, you know, like we are less than a month away from a time change. And soon I will get home from work. I, I mean, I work full time. I work four days a week. And soon I'm going to get home from work and it's going to be dark. So it's going to make it a lot harder to get work done around here uh, where it'll be easy to video. I mean, if there's no, if I work out, if I'm outside and I'm trying to do something, if it's dark outside, there's no chance I'm going to make a video on that. So definitely going to get harder as winter creeps up and then we get these shorter daylight hours to make some videos out here. So, man, I just, I just wish I had a pole barn. Not, I mean, not like that's a pole barn, but that's, that's a gravel floor. I wish I had a workshop. If I had a workshop with some good lighting, you know, something that I could heat in the wintertime, man, I could be able to do some videos. That's for sure. I could, any type of weather, any type of the, any time of the year, that'd be awesome. So hopefully next year I'll build a pole barn. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this content, follow along as we try to continue to build our homestead out here and live the country life. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video.